Hello, I'm Michael Tyler, and welcome to another free Vectric Project of the Month. This month's project was created with Aspire 10.5 and is compatible with Aspire 10.5 or above. It features a nice selection of five steampunk style Christmas ornaments that you can mix and mingle with your own traditional ornaments during this holiday season. If you want to have a go at making this yourself, you can download the files from your VNCO account. It includes the project file and illustrated PDF instructions that you can print out and follow along while you create your own steampunk ornaments. Please enjoy the rest of this video while I show you the process from carving to final finish. If you do make your own ornaments, please feel free to share your photos at the Vectric Forum and through social media. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And finally, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for instant updates on new project videos we release in the future. Okay, I'm in the process of coating these uh, ornaments with a mixture, 50-50 mixture of uh, de-waxed clear shellac with denatured alcohol, equal parts. And that uh, helps to raise any fuzzies that are left over. When it's dry, it makes it easier to sand and also uh, helps seal the wood since I'll be painting this. I'll seal the wood initially with this uh, shellac and denatured alcohol mixture. All right, we'll let these dry after I've coated them. Come back and uh, see if they need another coat and another final sanding before I apply some Krylon Clear just to seal that further before the main painting. I gave these two coats of the uh, mixture of denatured alcohol and the Zenser Bullseye Seal Coat, which is the 100% de-wax shellac. And now I'm going to apply a few light coats of this Krylon gloss and then follow that up with uh, Krylon flat just so that uh, when I do the painting that that will give a little more bite to the paint to hold on to. Okay, we're just about ready to get started painting the ornaments. And I've just gone ahead and uh, sanded lightly after the Krylon dried on the uh, wood here. And I picked out a bunch of uh, colors of acrylic craft paints, some metallics and some non-metallics. So these are the colors I think I'm gonna use for these various ornaments that could change as I go along. But uh, let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, the paint's all dry, and I'm going to apply a few light coats of Krylon gloss and Krylon uh, flat to seal the paint before I apply the glazing. Okay, we're getting ready for the glazing stage. I got these all uh, dried, and I'll uh, gather a bunch of improperly clean brushes just so that they're kind of stiff to apply, help apply that glazing and uh, get it off there. So it's a wipe on, wipe off, or brush on, brush off. I've got a couple of acrylic paints here. I've got a, a dark brown, a burnt umber, and also black. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a black. I'm gonna start with the brown, and I'm gonna water it down a bit and use that uh, as my glaze. And then if I decide to uh, use the black, I'll go ahead and try that as well. So let me get some of these uh, out of the way here so I don't splatter on them. And we'll start with this gear. Okay, I'm just uh, using some water to dilute this brown paint. Looks about right. And I'm just gonna brush this all over Okay, I got some old rags here. Just wipe that off. And that'll give us that kind of uh, old grunge sort of steampunk look that we're after. Then I'll take one of these dry brushes that uh, just a stiff bristle bristled. And I'm just scrubbing that stain there, but you see how that's, that stain, well, that glaze is just uh, sitting in the recesses and just helps enhance the details of the ornament here. And I'm just going to selectively wipe off where this metallic is, bring that back a little bit. Okay, I think that one's done. We'll let that dry and proceed with the others. And we use that dry brush there. Okay, well, if that isn't a steampunk candy cane, I don't know what is. All right, I'll uh, go ahead and see if I'm gonna use the uh, black on any of these other ones here. I'm gonna use the brown on the candy cane and also the gear. We'll see how the rest of them come out. Okay, I think I'll try some black on this one. Just dilute that a little bit with some water. Now that the glaze is dry, I'm gonna apply the final clear coats. I'm using a Krylon Gloss Crystal Clear. I'll just put on several coats, let that dry, and then uh, we'll be done with the finishing process on the steampunk ornaments. The clear coats all dry on all of the ornaments, and these can be used as is. Uh, you can use just the regular wire Christmas ornament hangers uh, through these holes here, just you know, bend them over and twist them through. Uh, or you could use uh, yarn or twine, or in my case, I'm going to use some of these uh, metal rings and decorative chain. So these rings come in a assorted container. So I picked out the larger ones and I'll feed these through using my uh, needle nose pliers through the holes there and attach some decorative chain. And then I'll use the regular Christmas wire hangers to attach that to a Christmas tree branch.
Okay, that completes all of the hangers for the steampunk Christmas ornaments. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you next month with another free Vectric project of the month. Happy carving.